foul called as Dover Chevron will inbound under the Hiller hoop. Deep two, foot on the line, knocked down. First bucket of the game goes to Dover Sherburn. Kate Mastrobono, the deep two. Morningstar drives and she's able to draw the foul. Trying to go baseline. Olivia Collins picking up that one. An offensive foul called on the Hillers. Looks like on a screen, I believe on Caroline Connell. Excuse me, that actually was on Ashley McDermott, her first of the game, second for the Hillers. Morningstar picks the ball off, turnover, tries to get it up to her teammate, but she turns it right back over. And then Sensi takes it right back. Three turnovers just like that. Cho tried to drive. McDermott ended up with the loose ball. Connell drives. Her shot a bit too strong. Corralled by Dover Sherburn. Nice scoop layup, a bit too strong. Offensive rebound, put back good. Sophie Fallon, I believe, was the one who rebounded that. Second chance opportunity for Dover Sherburn, 4-0. A minute and a half into this one. Sensony stuck a little bit. Finally found help. Loose ball foul called as Morningstar tried to recover that one. Looks like Haley Gladstone, the senior captain, caught reaching. Her first of the game. Morningstar might have got away with a walk on that one instead. Draws another foul. She got hit with an arm bar, it looked like. That one on the floor. Sabrina Ryan subbing in for sophomore, her first appearance of this one. Sensony fires the quick three, bit off the mark, rebound to Gladstone. Four nothing, Dover Sherburn still. A couple of minutes, two plus minutes into this game as the pass is tipped and knocked around, grabbed by McDermott. Another seal for the Hillers. Joe the deep two, her shot rattles around. Caroline Connell fighting for the offensive board. She sees the open lane, takes a strong left-hand layup, is met with contact, no foul. Ball rolls out of bounds, stays with the Hillers. Cho gets at the top and drives past to McDermott. McDermott kind of fumbles with it and is hit with the travel. Two subs coming in for Hopkinton. Lexi Chendel and Kiki Fossbender. Dover Sherburn dealing with Hopkinton's pesky press. Morningstar tries to pick it away but can't. A scrum on the floor results in a jump ball and it goes to Hopkinton. Still 4-0 Dover Sherburn lead with just two buckets for the Raiders giving them that small advantage three minutes into this one. Morningstar having some trouble in the middle of the lane. Now Fossbender's drive. Looked like it could have been an one opportunity. Instead, a travel call. 
Another Hiller turnover. Morningstar jumps in front of the pass and picks it off. Good steal from the senior. She takes the contact. And again, a tough call there. It looked like for sure it was an and one chance for Lily Morningstar, but strict call there, calling it on the floor. Cho, a nice move to get the shot off. Another one on the floor, but she's fouled before the shot. Five fouls already for Dover Sherburn here in the first quarter. Full 30 seconds for Hopkinton on the shot clock. The ball circulates around the top of the key. Fossbender drives, kicks out. Another pass to Connell, open for three. Bit off the mark, Cho fighting for the rebound. Can't get it, Dover Sherburn picks it up. Pass inside, layup, rattles around, no good. Rope ball rolls out of bounds, shot from Sophie Fallon. Just ribbed out. Pass is stolen away by Fossbender. Jumped in front of what would have been a Dover Sherburn basket. <laughs> Connell drives, gets held up a bit. Good call there with the jump ball. Good defense from Dover Sherburn to prevent the easy lay in. As Colleen Doyle, the senior, subs in for Dover Sherburn. 3.44 left in the first quarter. Still a 4-0 lead for the Raiders. Not much scoring or offense of any type going around here as Morningstar. Fouls Kate Masturbono from behind. Three fouls for the Hillers, five for the Raiders, so thus far in the first quarter. Make that four for the Hillers as Lexi Trendle picks up a blocking foul, looks like, and we will get free throws. First free throw just falls a bit short for Sophie Fallon. Second one is good. 5 nothing now for the Raiders. 3.31 left in the first quarter. This morning star brings it up for the Hillers. Foul on the drive for Brooke Dory. Didn't see much contact there, but a foul called on the floor. And Doherty will inbound under the Raider hoop. Trendle down low, tries to get position, shot up. No good. Fighting for the rebound was Doherty, and she saved it for the Hillers. Fossbender's jumper no good. Might have been partially blocked. Either way, picked up by Dover Sherburn. Pass inside, Connell getting in front of it and stealing it away. Not getting hit with the travel either. She bounced it away to Fossbender. Doherty drives, pass over to Trendle. Back to Morningstar for three. Off the mark. Rolls out of bounds, goes to Dover Sherburn. Still a 5-0 game here. 2.41 left in the opening quarter. Oh 
And Coach Greco's calling a timeout. Doesn't like what he sees out there. Timeout is coming to a close. 2.41 left in the first. S still only a 5-0 game at this point. Dover Sherburn with two buckets and one free throw. Hopkinton, I'm not, I don't believe has been to the line yet in this one. Obviously have not scored yet. Trying to use a press to st steal an easy bucket. Dover Sherburn ready for it. Free throw line jumper, short, no good, grabbed by Trendle. Fossbender almost got it stripped away, found help. Now pass inside to Trendle, she kicks it back out to Morningstar. Not much movement here for the Hiller offense. Under 10 seconds now, Morningstar tries to drive, gets it stolen away. Now Dover Sherburn in control. The deep floater from Sophie Fallon, no good. Tough shot, couldn't get it to fall. Morningstar tries to muscle her way through for a layup. Tough look, couldn't get it to fall. Now under a minute and 30 seconds left here in the first quarter. Still no points for Hopkinton. Sofia Federico turns around, finds herself wide open. No good, Sofia Fallon offensive board. Now a three point shot for Master Bono. That's no good and a Raider touch it attempting to save it. So the ball goes over to the Hillers with a minute and four seconds left. as Lily Morningstar would take a rest. Cho drives and kicks it out. Sensini though, can't get anything with the drive, gets it stripped away. She ends up, she ends up touching it last. Is the smart play there from Fallon to let it continue to roll out of bounds. Gives it back to Dover Sherburn. Federico gets it, takes it all the way. Left hand layup, gets it up and in. And the foul opportunity for three coming for Federico, the senior. Cameron McDonald making her first appearance for the Hillers. Chance for three coming up for Federico. A bit strong off the back of the rim. Grabbed by Cho, 7-0 lead for Dover Sherburn. Pass inside to Trendle, she muscles up a shot. No good, but two free throws coming. First free throws of the game here for the Hillers.
first one swishes through for Trendle. Second one is also good. First points of the game for Hopkinton, seven to two. As Cho almost strips the ball, knocks it out of bounds. Stays with the Raiders. Twenty-four seconds and no shot clock for Dover Sherbin to try to lengthen this five-point lead. As Fallon's almost stripped by Sensi, somehow keeps possession. Federico trying to drive. Deep floater, hard off the backboard, gets it to fall. Two seconds left as Cho puts up the deep three. Way too strong, but a tough shot at the end there for Federico. A deep floater, hard off the backboard, makes it 9-2. Seven point advantage for the Raiders after one. Again, just two points for Hopkinton in that first quarter, courtesy of a pair of free throws from freshman Lexi Trendle. Not much help happening offensively, obviously, here for the Hillers tonight against their TVL rival, Dover Sherburn. But not much scoring going, going around at all, actually. Dover Sherburn getting four points over the last minute to make this game what it is, a 9-2 lead. Sensony, McDonald, Cho, Morningstar, and McDermott out to start here for the Hillers as we start the second quarter. Morningstar drives, shot, almost goes through the hoop the wrong way, ends up in the hands of Dover Sherburn. Master Bono looking for help, manages to find it. Federico fires the three and knocks it down. Sofia Federico coming off the bench has been huge. With seven points, seven of the 12 Dover Sherbin points. Now a 10 point lead for the Raiders. McDermott pass hope. Passed open from Morningstar. McDermott can't knock down the shot. Bounce pass down low leads to a bucket for Sabrina Ryan. 14 to two lead and already just a minute into that second quarter, a timeout from Coach Greco. Again, coming into this one, the Hopkinton Hillers won three in a row, wins over Ashland Westwood and Norton to give them a seven and eight record overall, six and seven in the TVL. While Dover Sherburn has been trading wins and losses over the last five or six games, leaving them at seven and nine overall, four and nine in the TVL. First time these two teams have met each other. First and only time these two teams will meet each other, actually, as the Hillers only have a few more games. I believe Dover Sherman is in the same boat as well. 
Pillars have one more home game, and that'll be here in Hopkinton on Tuesday at 6.30 against Medfield, which should figure to be a highly contested game as it has been the last four or five years between these two teams. Lula Murphy in for Hopkinton picks up her first foul. Tough defense here from the Hopkinton trying to force something. Fallon inside to Master Bono. She fires off the awkward shot, can't get it to go. Murphy grabs the board. Cameron McDonald hit with the travel call. Little substitution trouble there for a second. Cleared up relatively quickly. O'Connell will inbound for Dover Sherbert. Federico fires the three. Another one and knocks it down. Federico is on fire. 10 of the 17 for Dover Sherburn, who has a 15 point advantage now, holding Hopkinton to just two points, almost a quarter and a half into this one. Warning start, dribbles in trouble, but is able to find a cutting McDermott. First bucket of the game for Hopkinton, 17 to four now. Federico looking for help, but a timeout is called. Well, Coach Club Dub, Dover Sherburn, as Federico dribbled into some trouble and couldn't find a teammate. 5.18 left here in the second quarter. So 5.18 left here in this first half. 17 to four lead for Dover Sherburn. Hopkinton's offense seemed to have found its way after its mid-season struggles and at the end of its losing streak and then even on its three game winning streak, of course, putting up a decent amount of points each game, hovering around the 40 point a game margin. Now just Kind of inexplicable what's happening here. Only able to score one basket and collect two free throws thus far here in the first half. So plenty of time to go and only down by 13 as Dover Sherman has not been playing well offensively either, but still able to get something going are the Raiders. But turn it over right there as Murphy picks off the pass. Cho drives, nice Euro step right by the defender. Can't get it to fall. Murphy, Trendle now. She could not get the shot off, uh, fouled on the floor. Or maybe it was a shooting foul. Ah, one and one as she sinks the front end.
second free throw, no good, and rebound goes to Dover Sherburn. Up 17 to five, just under five minutes left here in the first half. Federico inside to Collins. Her left hand shot, up and in. Tough look, but the junior gets it to go. 19 to five. Trendle's left hand layup too strong. Rabbi Dover Sherburn and then Murphy from behind with the foul. I believe her second of the game. Reese O'Connell lost control of the ball, dribbled it out of bounds there. That results in the turnover for the Raiders. Trendle's pick opens up a lot of room for Connell. She dishes it off. Fossbender shot in the middle of the lane, just rattles around, no good. O'Connell loses it again. Morningstar takes it the whole way and is tripped up. Two free throws coming for the senior. Morning starts first, rattles around and out. As some subs come in for Dover Sherburn. Colleen Doyle and Sabrina Ryan, it looks like, check in. Second free throw, no good for Morning Star as well. Now, under four minutes, 19 5 lead still for the Raiders. Stripped away by Cho, collected by Morningstar. She takes it the whole way. Shot no good, but foul going against Haley Gladstone. Two more free throws for Morningstar. One of two on that trip for Morningstar. 19-6, Hiller's trail. As Federico gets a shot up, no good on the shot, and she's fouled. That one looks like was on the floor, but that should be, should be one and one for Dover Sherburn. Seventh foul on the Hillers. First one off the front rim, grabbed by Connell. Morningstar drives past the Trendle. She was on the end line, the baseline, stepped out. Opens up for Dover Sherburn. Federico now with it. Backs down. Right hand hook up and in. 
Smooth move there from Federico. 15 point lead for Dover Sherburn. Fossbender's three, no good. Rebound to Sabrina Ryan. Pass inside, knocked away by Trendle. Good play to seal it away from the freshman. Fossbender charging down the lane. Probably could have been called for the offensive foul there, but no call made. Lauren Cho getting in the way, stripping the ball, but can't fully recover it. Dover Sherburn keeps possession. Two minutes left here in the first half. Tough shot there from Dover Sherman, Sophie Fallon. Couldn't get the awkward lay in to go. Hopkinton now on the other end. Cho for three. Bit short, grabbed by Dover Sherburn. A timeout for the Raiders, up 21 to six with 141 left here in the first half. Not much luck here for Hopkinton in the second quarter, only scoring two in the first. Two more free throws and one basket coming here in the second quarter. While Dover Sherburn has kept about the same pace scoring. Paced by Sofia Federico. Both teams in the bonus for this final one and a half minutes here. Dover Sherbert still in the one and one while Hawkinson will be shooting two for the rest. Raiders inbound now, up 15. Foul called. Looks like Sophie Allen's trying to get away from Sensony. A hold called and free throws coming. At least one. First one good for Fallon. Second one is good, 23 to six lead. Bit of a pause there in the game as the referee went and grabbed a Hopkinton official as some fans were criticizing the officiating. That, that was responsible for that little pause there. Foul call down low. Trendle picks up, Trendle draws the foul, excuse me. She's gonna be shooting two, was on the floor, but over the foul limit is Dover Sherburn, so two free throws are coming. Too strong on the first. Second one is no good. Not a great shooting percentage for the Hillers. 
from the free throw line today here in this one. Federico drives. Sophia Fallon gets off the awkward looking shot, somehow gets it to go. Twenty-five to six now, under a minute left here in the first half. Stolen away. Pauline Doyle takes it away for the Raiders. Not much going right for the Hillers here in this first half. The deep two fired, knocked down. Sabrina Ryan took one step in from the three point line, knocked it down. 27 to 6 now. Pass from Fossbender over the head of Morningstar. Another turnover here for the Hillers. 18.8 seconds left. Shot clock is off. Federico with the ball in her hands. 10 seconds left now. Federico loses the ball. Three second violation is called. 2.1 seconds left, chance for the Hillers to get something from deep. Morningstar will be the one to take it. Doesn't get it off in time, well short anyway. So a tough end to the tough first half for the Hopkins and Hillers. Down 21, trailing 27 to six. Four free throws in one basket. All the Hillers have to show offensively for that first half. Meanwhile, Sophia Federico from Dover Sherburn with over 15 points, doing everything offensively for Dover Sherburn. So that does it here for the first half. Again, Tim Haladic flying solo without Steve Spector here tonight, but hopefully the second half picks up a bit for you guys so we can get you an entertaining game to finish this one off. Again, 27-6 Dover Sherman lead. We'll see you in a few. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits, and I'm here to tell you how you can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. Paladic back with you here for the beginning of the third quarter. Hopkinton trailing 27-6. Again, just four free throws and one field goal for the Hillers in that entire first half. Not much working offensively for the home team. Meanwhile, Dover Sherburn, again, uh, had a bit of a dry spell there in the first quarter, but picked things up largely through the senior, Sofia Federico, who has been terrific in this game, hitting a multitude of tough shots. That leaves us 27 to six. Hillers inbound, trying to chip away at this lead. Morningstar whacked across the chest as she drove down the lane. Looks like that foul going against. Yep, is gonna be the fourth foul on senior captain Haley Gladstone as she takes a Quick seat. Connell drives Sensony. 
drives from the other side. Left hand layup, no good. Rebound, muscled, muscled away by Mastrobona. Master Bono looking for help. Nice cut by Federico. Great pass from Master Bono, no good. Sophie, Sophie Fallon, another offensive rebound, no good. Dover Sherburn keeps possession though. Federico backing down Morningstar. Gets rejected by McDermott. Connell drives from the right side, layup too strong, but two free throws coming for Connell. First one too strong for the sophomore. Connell's second free throw, no good as well. 0 for 2 on that trip. Three point shot up from Dover Sherburn and good. Reese O'Connell knocks down the three off the pass from Master Bono. Thirty to six lead now for Dover Sherbert. McDermott, nice pass to Morningstar. She can't hit. Trying to save the ball, she stepped out on the baseline, giving the ball back to Dover Sherbert. Risky pass over to Federico, she loses it. McDermott takes control. Morningstar drives. Fouled on the floor. Foul goes on Colleen Doyle, her first. Quick three from Sensony, a bit short. Morningstar grabs the offensive board. Pass inside to McDermott, she turns, fires, no good. With two free throws coming. down the first. This Fossbender checks in. Second one just rattles around. Federico grabs the rebound. Trapped in the corner was Colleen Doyle and McDermott put her hand on the ball, forcing a jump ball. Now she is subbed out for Lexi Trendle.
Fossbender hustling. Stripped the ball, but touched it when she was out of bounds. Stays with the Raiders. Morningstar tries to go for the steal, can't get it. Federico fires the long two again. Banks it in hard. What counts is two points, 32 to seven. Cho drives, dishes it off to Trendle. She runs right into a wall, loses control. Another turnover for the Hillers, who only have one point thus far here in the third quarter, almost four minutes in. Fallon looking for help. A bit too aggressive was Fossbender there. Hit with the foul, her second. Fresh 30 seconds for Dover Sherburn. Federico drives, right hand shot, no good. Masha Bono, a great offensive rebound, giving Dover Sherburn another opportunity. Fallon drives, shows a tough right hand shot up, but she's fouled. Two free throws for Dover Sherburn. First one no good as Lulu Murphy and Kylie Hardenbrook enter the game. Second free throw. Front rims and rolls in. 33 to seven now. Go over Sherbert and Lee. Morningstar gets tripped before that she gets able to get that shot off. Another one on the floor. Hopkins will inbound. 3.47 left here in the third quarter. 33 to seven Raider lead. Harderbrook drives. Right hand into the middle of the lane, no good, but free throw is coming after she was met by Olivia Collins. First free throw, no good. Second one good for Fossbender. Thirty-three to eight. DS lead now. Three thirty left here in the third quarter. Pass to a wide open Ryan. She is fouled by Morningstar. Morning so not happy with that foul call, but two free throws coming for Ryan nonetheless. First free throw good for Ryan. While we have some time, just want to take a second to recognize our crew here with us tonight. Director Tom Dings, graphics Samantha Dings, on cameras Mary Arnott, Denise Antaki, and Bob Hamilton. So thank you guys for joining us here tonight. Unfortunately, Steve couldn't make it. I'm sure he's watching in one way or another. 
Trendle inside. Nice pass from Morningstar. Can't get the bucket to go. Ball rolls out of bounds and goes to Dover Sherburn. Three fired, no good from Colleen Doyle, but another offensive rebound for DS. Pass inside to Fallon, she's in trouble, dribbles out of it. Driving was Olivia Collins, she's hit hard. Two free throws coming for the junior captain. First one is good, 35 to eight. Second one hits the rim several times, but finds the bottom of the net. 36 to eight lead now is Fossbender charges right into some DS defenders. No foul called, shot no good. And a five second call called against Federico. Interesting call there. Seems like she was moving about enough. Regardless, violation is called as Federico takes a seat on the bench. Two twenty left here in the third quarter, thirty six to eight DS lead. As the baseline three is fired. From Cameron McDonald, no good. And then Hopkinton picks up a foul trying to grab the rebound. Morningstar will take a seat now. Lauren Cho comes back out. Good defense there from Doherty. Tough break to go though. Foul called against Doherty. She jumps a bit through the shoulder of the DS def off defender at that point. Just hit the two minute mark now here in the third quarter. Miscommunication there as O'Connell's pass goes to no one, bounces all the way to the far end of the gym. Turnover there for Dover Sherburn. Hopkinton held their last opponent, Norton, to 11 points. Struggling to reach that mark here themselves tonight as Trendle hits that layup to get them to 10. And then good defense on the other end, Trendle, preventing the easy lay-in. Hit multiple times, rolls out of bounds. Looks like Dover Sherburn will stay with it. Up 26, increasing their lead by 10. It was 21 to 6 coming into this third quarter, now 36 to 10. 
Brooks Collins turns and muscles up a shot, but travels before she does so. Cho probes the defense, steps back for a jumper, no good. Collins grabs the board. <laughs> Sabrina Ryan got caught throwing out her left arm. Offensive foul. Under a minute left here now in the third quarter. Hopkinton still down 26. Trendle drives, is fouled, shot no good. Chance at points on the way. First one's good for Trendle, the freshman. Second one is good as well. She has been solid from the line today. Got a 15 second difference, 14 second difference on the shot clock and game clock as Sophie Fallon drives and is fouled. Two free throws coming now for the junior. First one rattles in. Second one swishes through, 38 to 12 with just over a half minute left in the third quarter. Murphy drives, some contact. She tries to grab the offensive board, knocks it out of bounds. It stays with Hopkinton. Shot clock is off now, 17.4 seconds left for the Hillers to get something off. Down 26 right now. Trendle grabs it, puts her head down, throws a shot up, no good. Five seconds left for DS to get something off. Going the full distance, getting the shot up was Reese O'Connell. Couldn't get the scoop layup to fall, however. And at the end of three, we have 38 to 12 DS lead, and we're handing it off to the floor for the 50-50 raffle. At all these varsity basketball games. All right, take it away, Jacob. All right, and the winner is 3510240. I'll repeat that again 3510240. All right, congratulations to the winner. You can pick up the earnings at the table over there. Thank you, and see you next game. Some frustrated looks on the faces of fans with a losing ticket there on that one, but surely the uh, Hiller fans frustrated with what's happening out here on the court tonight, down 38 to 12 as we go into the final eight minutes of this one. Not at all, I should think, was this type of outcome expected. Both teams hovering a bit under 500. Hiller is on that three game winning streak that I've mentioned before, but just running into a wall here tonight. Dover Sherburn has played well defensively, but the Hillers offense has just been searching for any type of identity the whole game and have not found it as of yet. McDermott hit a bit as their shot goes up. 
No foul called and your shot falls a bit short. Master Bono, the floater. Right hand, left side, gets it to fall. Tough angle, 40 to 12 now. Connell, the open layup, she takes contact. No foul called. Loses the ball out of bounds. Morningstar jumps in front of the pass, picks up the rolling ball, and one. Free throw coming for the senior. Fashion three point plays complete for Lily Morningstar. Looks like a timeout is called by Coach Klebda of Dover Sherburn. Not liking what she was seeing on that inbound play, chose to save the possession with a timeout. With 7.02 remaining here in the final quarter, 40 to 15, Dover Sherburn advantage. Again, the, hot, the next home game, the last home game of this season, most likely for the Hillers coming up, is going to be here on Tuesday at 6.30 when Hopkinton hosts Medfield. Then one more away game for the Hillers after that to finish off this season. <laughs> That last game of the year for Hopkinton is at Norwood. We'll get you more info on that, if not tonight, then definitely by the next game against Medfield. As Sensity and Morningstar combined to seal the ball away, Morningstar drives, layup no good. She muscles right back in to grab the loose ball. Jump ball is called, stays with the Raiders. The deep two fired, an awkward bank shot, but, get, but good, falls for Colleen Doyle. It's the third awkward bank for Diaz in this contest. McDermott, shot no good. Grabbed by Master Bono. O'Connell gets poked. Foul goes against Lauren Cho. Free throw good from Reese O'Connell. So they are now in the bonus. Second one good as well for the freshman. Some subs are made for both teams. Forty-four to fifteen lead now for DS. Six minutes left here in the fourth quarter. McDonald launches the three, a bit short. Lulu Murphy trying for an offensive board. Another offensive rebound, no good.
O'Connell fires the three. She's fouled on the shot. Murphy picking up that one. Gets that one to rattle in. Second. Two or three on that trip was O'Connell. Forty six to fifteen lead now. O'Connell almost picks off that pass. And then Fallon. Almost jumps that one, knocks it out of bounds. Murphy steps by the defender, is hit, two free throws coming for the senior. Looks like that's going to be it for Master Buono. Her fifth foul. Second free throw was good. Both teams thought that was a one and one. Why they both rushed after that miss, but it was a shooting foul. Doherty, good defense, picks away that pass. McDermott pass inside. Foul call, two free throws on the way for McDermott. McDermott a bit frustrated perhaps because a tough foul there. Picked up by Sophie Fallon. Free throws coming for her. First free throw no good. Second one hits the mark, 47 to 17. 515 left here in the fourth. Dover Sherburn leading by 30. As Murphy, the nice scoop layup, can't get it to fall. McDonald's jumper. conference between the refs decide to overturn that call goes to Dover Sherburn again saving another possession timeout from coach Klebda this one comes with 502 left here in the fourth 47 to 17 
McDonald, McDermott, Murphy, Hardenbrook, and Doherty out on the floor for the Hillers right now. As they pick off that pass, Murphy looking for help. Hit with a travel though. Turnover there going against Hopkinson. Doherty strips the ball from Haley Gladstone. Goes out of bounds though, stays with DS. Fifteen seconds on the shot clock. Fallon gets run into. A lot of commotion there as she tried to get some help. Third foul on Murphy. Doherty drives. Good move, couldn't get the shot to fall. Collins loses the ball. Good defense there from Hopkinton. Nice pass from Murphy to cutting Trendle. Probably the best bucket for Hopkinton all day. Doherty's fouled on her drive. Two free throws coming. Pass from DS goes over the head of everybody, corralled by Hawkington. 51 21 score with 320 left here in the fourth now as Doherty is fouled by O'Connell. First one good for Doherty. That was the fourth foul on O'Connell. Second one good as well for Doherty.
two free throws on that trip, Sophie Fallon. 53 to 23 with three minutes left. 310 left here in this fourth. Drive for McDonald is short. Again, want to just thank our crew one last time. Director Tom Dings, graphics Samantha Dings, on cameras Mary Arnott, Denise Santaki, and Bob Hamilton. So thank you guys for helping us here tonight. O'Connell the three, no good. Offensive rebound goes to DS though. <laughs> Two fouls that probably could have been called, one on either end there, both of them let go. Perhaps the refs trying to get this game over as quick as they can. But a timeout call by Dover Sherburn. 2.30 left here, up 30, 53 to 23. Another game this season we see the Hillers go without Olivia Gladu. More likely than not, I'm guessing she's gonna miss the entire season. No point going out there for the last two and further injuring, injuring yourself, I would imagine. Tough break for the Hillers this year as they were looking to lean on her and Morningstar especially. Both of them missing extended time. In the case of Morningstar, she came back about probably a month or so ago after her torn ACL. Meanwhile, Gladue dealing with an arm injury, keeping her out for the entirety of this season. Hopefully see her back next season at some point. Two oh five left in this one. And as it stands, the Hillers should drop to seven and nine overall. Six and eight in the TVL while Dover Sherburn should improve to eight and nine overall. Five and nine in the Tri Valley League. Loose ball, last off of Hopkinton. Stays with the Raiders. Pass right to Murphy, she takes it away. She's fouled from behind. Free throws coming for the senior.
Lulu Murphy, a great defensive effort there to steal and then save it back to her teammate. Leads to a Kylie Hardenbrook bucket. Lulu Murphy, the senior, still playing hard out there. Probably would have been called for a foul right there, except stepping on the baseline was Dover Sherburn giving it to the Hillers. Hardenbrook back to Trendle inside. She's fouled. Shot no good. But two more free throws on the way. Murphy, tough contact there. A bit too aggressive going for that loose ball. Free throw in first one, no good for Megan Hanlon. Took that hard hit. Seems to be all right. Second one no good as well. McDonald for three, no good. Grabs an offensive board, her second shot is good. Pass goes off of Fallon's foot. Goes out of bounds, goes back to the Hillers. 53 to 29 now. Just over 30 seconds remaining. Great pass to Trendle. She couldn't hit the layup as Murphy grabs the rebound and is fouled on her putback attempt. First one good for Murphy. Second one bounces out. Shot clock is off, DS can dribble it out. Seems like an unnecessarily strict call of the five second violation there, but made nonetheless turnover for DS. That should do it here. Hawkinson might take a shot as clock expires, but the Hillers will drop to seven to nine overall as Hardenbrook gets in there for the layup at the end. But that does it here. Dover Sherburn coming in and quieting the Hiller crowd with a 53 to 32 effort giving DS a eight and, an eight and nine record overall, five and nine in the TVL, dropping the Hillers to seven and nine overall, six and eight in the TVL. A tough offensive night for the Hillers to say the least, but a good all around game played by their opponent, Dover Sherburn Raiders. So again, just want to thank our crew, our crew one more time, Tom Dings, Samantha Dings, Mary Arnott, Denise Antaki, and Bob Hamilton. Um, and Steve Spector, we wish you could have been here. We hope to see you next time. I'm Tim Haladic, and we want to thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you.
here against Medfield on Tuesday at 6.30.